Swedish defense giant Saab is set to expand its footprint in the United States with the opening of a new munitions production facility in Grayling, Michigan. This move marks a significant milestone in Saab's efforts to increase domestic production capacity and meet the growing demand for advanced weaponry amid today's global security challenges. The facility, supported by the state of Michigan and the local community, is expected to strengthen U.S. national defense while providing jobs and boosting the regional economy. The Grayling facility will focus on the final assembly and integration of shoulder-fired munitions and precision fire systems. Groundbreaking is planned for the fourth quarter of 2024, with production slated to begin by early 2026. Eric Smith, president and CEO of Saab in the U.S., emphasized the company's commitment to both the U.S. defense industrial base and the local community. Smith noted that this facility is part of Saab's broader strategy to positively impact the areas in which it operates by creating quality jobs and supporting local economies. Grayling was selected as the site for the new facility due to its proximity to the largest U.S. Army National Guard training base and the availability of a skilled workforce. The facility will be Saab's 10th site in the U.S., adding to a growing network of advanced manufacturing and research centers across the country. This includes sites in West Lafayette, Indiana for aerospace manufacturing, Syracuse, New York for radar and sensor systems, and locations in Rhode Island and Massachusetts focused on autonomous and undersea systems. This new plant will be instrumental in Saab's global strategy to expand its production capacity for ground combat weapons, a move driven by increasing demand for advanced defense solutions. The company's long-term plan aims to quadruple overall production capacity, enhancing its ability to respond to rising security needs worldwide. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer welcomed Saab's decision to establish the facility in Grayling, citing it as an important development for both the state's economy and national defense. Initially, the project is expected to create 70 jobs, with the potential for further expansion. Whitmer also highlighted Michigan's historical significance in defense manufacturing, noting the state's legacy as the arsenal of democracy during World War II. Saab's new facility further strengthens Michigan's role as a hub for advanced manufacturing, contributing to the state's ongoing efforts to lead in defense innovation and economic development. Beyond producing shoulder-fired munitions, the Grayling facility will also serve as a center for innovation. It will support the development of new products and systems as Saab's operations expand. Eric Smith indicated that, in addition to current offerings, the plant will eventually produce components for the ground launch small diameter bomb, GLSDB, system and close combat weapons. The facility's large 388-acre site allows for future growth, including the potential to add engineering capabilities as the business evolves. Saab plans to replicate the success of its West Lafayette facility in Grayling. The West Lafayette site initially received production from Sweden before transitioning to full U.S. operations. By establishing low-rate initial production capabilities early on, Saab was able to quickly ramp up manufacturing to meet market demands. The company aims to employ similar advanced manufacturing technologies in Michigan, helping to increase U.S. production of critical munitions systems while ensuring the country's defense needs are met. Saab's expansion into Michigan underscores the growing importance of domestic defense production in the face of evolving global security threats. By increasing its U.S. presence, Saab aligns with broader goals of strengthening the domestic defense industrial base, enhancing national security, and becoming a more reliable partner for the U.S. military. The Grayling facility is a key element in Saab's long-term strategy, positioning the company to deliver advanced munitions while also making significant contributions to the local economy. As the company prepares to break ground in Michigan, Saab's new facility highlights the critical role of partnerships between defense companies and regional communities. These collaborations are vital to ensuring that the U.S. defense infrastructure remains strong and ready to respond to current and future challenges.